Let's see, we do have the Temperance, might be a Sagittarius we are dealing with, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Well, we are a little bit, um, you know, unstable, or this connection feels unstable, a little bit out of balance. I kind of feel somebody is extremely strict about something, but Temperance usually is about negotiation, meeting the other person halfway, you know, being um, open to listen and, and, and find a win-win solution. But because we have it in reverse, somebody is really strict about something. Um, and furious, right? We do have the strength in reverse, Leo energy, and the temperance in reverse, Sagittarius. So, out of balance, furious, not willing to uh, negotiate, very strict about something. This is about morals and values and, uh, and uh, you know, a system that was worked and put in place and somebody disrespected it. Knight of Pentacles, you show up strong here, it's like, uh, I can manage, I'm gonna take it slow, step by step, but I'm gonna, at the end of the day, I'm gonna manage and I'm going to stay in my energy, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but this has the energy of movement, right, we go from pages, learning to um, being able to do something about, maybe not like a king, but still in a process, so Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, your way to victory, Virgo. Your way to victory. Of course, might be a little bit of pride. I don't feel this is the case. The Moon in Reverse. We come out of shadows. We come out of fears. We come out of overwhelming emotions because we stay in our energy. It's a beautiful, Virgo. It's a beautiful energy. We move from furious, if that was you, <laughs> furious and way too strict about um, something we meet, we move to victory through completely other energies. Well, Knight of Wands, um, and this is this is again action. I don't feel it might be a, a fire sign, by the way, and that energy can be all over you. Honestly, I don't feel this is another person, but I feel that you take your power back and your fire back and um, some distance, right, from, can be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and Ten of Cups, and Ten of Cups again. I mean, this is kind of like the reason why we combined a couple of decks, right, because we have confirmations, and I kind of feel that we take action towards your life. I don't know if this is about family, it can be about family, Ten of Cups is, um, um, about kids and uh, but I mainly feel this is you and your happiness and you being um, you know I, I feel like saying um, probably that you decided to not feed yourself lies uh, we do have the Queen of Swords in reverse right of course it can be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius but I honestly Virgo I feel this is all your energy and you are like on a horse you know charging forward towards your Ten of Cups it's like I'm done with the nonsense I'm chasing my happiness. So let's see what else is there for you. And your person, of course. So past energy is on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energy in the past. Current energy. You, your person and mutual. And then let's have the possible outcome for you. The person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck four of swords in reverse it has this energy of taking action honestly virgo i feel that somebody here is on fire and not accepting any bs um knight are um you know kind of uh, lonely warriors right we they show they show up you know half learning half moving towards um something great and taking action towards something great so i kind of feel that we have that energy where um it's a combat, it's a winning combat, actually. This is how it feels, the energy. Um, and of course, we've planned and strategized for of swords in reverse. We thought about, we use the mind, we use the passion that we have within. But we, um, yeah, it has an energy of moving forward. Um, so we're going in the past. What do we have? Four of pentacles in reverse, eight of wands in reverse. Um, you know, things got stagnant and not moving and uh, there was no longer passion uh, left and we decided to let go. It looks like it's more on your side. Four of Pentacles in reverse, we let go of something that they were holding on 
Um, so dearly, right? And it's uh, Four of Pentacles is firm foundations that we um, probably we've built with this person, something we've invested in, something we've um, took great care and we paid a lot of attention and detail. And um, I don't know if it was um, no choice or simply, um, you know, Eight of Wands, that realization that, you know what, we have projects, we have a life to live, we have uh, to bring some movement um, in and um, a sense of, um, I don't know, it sounds kind of harsh, but it feels like I don't want to waste my life. Um, it, it has also the sense of realization, if I don't have my Ten of Cups, what's the point, right? So this person might have been a Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, can be masculine, feminine energy, but we have the Six of Cups, Soulmate Bond, and we have the Queen of, Wand, uh, uh, the queen of Swords, sorry. So somebody absolutely went cold on you, but it doesn't mean they had no love. Six of Cups is being aware of the soulmate connection, body, mind, and soul, reminiscent about the love living in the past, but kind of a choice where they've decided to stay cold and silent. So what I kind of feel you fell out of love, but again, right, it can be um, a mutual thing that happened because the energy between the two of you in the past, two of cups in reverse and the death, Scorpio energy, um, definitely falling out of love and a commitment here. Um, we were no longer sharing the same um, intensity of emotions. Um, you know, this is changing frequencies, right, in love. And uh, because we we have you in the past um, attached to this person and we have them loving you. But then, you know, the energy around the connection shifted and changed and brought um, an ending, a sudden death to this connection. Okay, so where are we? Right now we do have the world in reverse, um, stagnant, and we have the Knight of Swords. Uh, things are not moving, we don't see progress, we don't have action. Um, unfinished business, a chapter that is still, you know, to be um, somehow um, dealt with. And um, this is not over just yet, despite you wanting all this happiness and all this action for now, like current energies. With the Knight of Swords in reverse doesn't um, show me a lot of movement on your side, but I'm pretty sure you long for movement because the energy is here. You long for new chapters with the world, happy ending, something that will bring some a sense of accomplishment to it. Now this person of yours, they do have the Three of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Wands, burdened by the current situation, having no expectations that this changes. Um, whatsoever. Three of Wands is like they no longer wait on anything and um, it has this energy I don't think is going to happen because Three of Wands is also I, I've invested in this so I know it will come. Maybe we don't know when. Um, well, sometimes in the traditional we see the ships in sight but you know, um, in this one it's more like oh, I don't know but I'm burdened by it. And mutual energy is between the two of you missing each other and fighting temptation, right? The devil in reverse and the five of cups. We want this to be over. And in the same time, we want to do the right thing. The devil in reverse is like whatever is toxic, I let go. If I'm approached by temptation, I'm, I'll stay on the right path. Um, the devil is about jealousy. We know that, right? And possessiveness and um, stalking someone and, and being obsessed in some way. But we have it in reverse. So we strive for um, a better, healthier type of energy. And, um, and the five of cups missing each other. I know. So let's see the possible outcome on your side. We do have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. We went full circle, Virgo. We started with the Eight of Wands in the past and uh, the energy coming your way. Eight of Wands in reverse and yourself in reverse, right? So a need to look into stability, to look into action, project that we want to um, give birth to, the movement, any type of movement that you want in your life because there is no doubt you want happiness but I don't see you making a lot of uh, a lot of choices in your energy plenty 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 of um, of cards of movement eight of wands eight of wands quick shifting movement knight of wands kind of um, impulsive movement and you have all of it in reverse so I don't know if you are afraid that you might be uh, 
you know, making the wrong decision and having um, and taking impulsive action, and you prefer to, you prefer to stay put. Um, but again, right, the energy is full circle, so maybe you know better if you need more time to heal or something. Now the energy coming their way, Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands, a lot of self protection from past hurt, right? Um, I mean, Ten of Swords, ten, ten of Wands, Nine of Wands. Let me tell you this person. I mean, the level of pain they are in right now, it's not even funny, right? And Nine of Wands, they are very conscious about it. it um, this is, um, you know, I need my territory. I need my, uh, my space. This is them not talking to anybody and just, um, you know, kind of uh, trying. I can't say figuring out because there is no figuring out it's just simply blocking any type of um of interaction and frequency that reminds them of the ten of swords they've went through and um virgo mutual energy is coming your way six of wands and the three of wands waiting for victory defeated now waiting for victory right that's exactly the energy and uh, I cannot say there is no love, right? We have Five of Cups and the Devil um, missing each other and being tempted or fighting temptation and um, energy is coming. Not a lot of effort, but a lot of hoping that it will be victory. Uh, both of you hopeful that victory um, is still possible between the two of you. So um, let's ask for some guidance. The question is always the same. Should I say yay? Should I say nay? Well, definitely peace of mind, serendipity. So some of you, this is what we need to focus on at this time. Your guide, I mean, your peace of mind is more important than anything else. We do have self-respect. I'm just saying somebody just lost a couple of layers in the process. Self-respect and sexuality. So you tell me what this is. Is somebody using you for sex? That's a like a big energy there. And we really need to look around. We using someone. We do have the devil right at the core of the reading. It is in reverse. So somebody is very aware. Uh, the temptation, sex, lust can be. Um, I'm I'm sensing out of control, but you know better. I'm just saying. So maybe. You know, some food for thought, if we can have some peace of mind when it comes to your self-respect and your sexuality, your relationship, your sexual relationship, so on and so forth. Um, the card I love the most, reparenting yourself. This is taking care of your inner child, being the parent you never had. Um, this is learning and unlearning, um, you know, relationship patterns, something we've done in the past or what we've um, seen from our parents when it came to relationships. So that is a lot of wisdom in reparenting yourself. And Virgo, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Now let's look into the energies we need or we are guided to put back into the flow because when it comes to this connection, we already know. Have faith and trust. That is a message for someone there. So trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So Virgo, have faith and trust your intuition. You are on point. We do have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So no judgment when it comes to this person. We are all equal. We are all the same. Or at least we are supposed to. We do have surrender, low self-esteem. You deserve success, love and abundance. Set an intention to identify, release any remnants of low self-esteem. So you have self-respect and now confirmation about low self-esteem. Just saying. We do have surrender. I can release my need um, to control. So we, we allow the situation to unfold naturally and we have purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. And um, you know what I feel, Virgo? I feel that this is love of self because it comes with reparenting yourself and purpose. That is some love that you need to show yourself in so many ways, right? In terms of self-respect, self-esteem, peace of mind, pride, trust, intuition, right? In so many ways you have to get in tune 
um, somehow in tune with yourself and, um, you know, your uh, power center. So this is a beautiful reading. If you ask me, of course, I'm not seeing a lot of movement um, in this connection soon. Uh, but that is definitely um, a beautiful energy of empowerment, especially in uh, the message, in the guidance. So Virgo, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.